what we've actually done with Altium 365 is we've made BOM a first-class citizen. You know, BOM's always been this thing that's been like an output of design. It's always been a bone of contention between the design and manufacturing domains. And it generally is always this thing that uh, causes problems when it comes to actually getting something built. And it's, but it's also, you know, while being a linchpin, it's also something that various people in the design to realization process often need access to. So what we've done is we've made BOM such that it's actually very easy to actually access and uh, use uh, through the web browser. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how this actually works uh, today. So what you're seeing now is a hierarchical structured bill of materials that is, uh, that is generated as part of the design process. Okay, and it's actually generated uh, completely in the background on the fly. This is the bomb. If you're using Active Bomb or, or not, whatever you're doing inside Altium Designer 19, this bomb is uh, generated directly from that data. So it is a real reflection in real time of what components actually exist on your design at, at the moment in time. So let's take a little bit of a look into this. So I'm going to drill down. I've got different classes, different folders, which contain the different types of parts that exist in my design. The next level is uh, designator. So here I've got this designator D4. We've then actually got the concept of three different types of component uh, in the bomb. The first component is the one with this blue icon. This is actually what we call the kind of CAD component. So this is the component as it would exist in the design, the representation in the design. Now this might be a specific manufacturer component, but it might not be. It might be a generic component, like a resistor or a capacitor that is defined by its technical kind of attributes rather than a specific manufacturer part. So using this hierarchical approach, we're able to essentially uh, relate, the, have this notion of the CAD component, which we call the base component, the manufacturer component, which you're then seeing down here with the orange icon, and we then have this notion of supplier components because we know that we can buy these components from different distributors, from different sources. And this really allows us to um, represent this relationship as it really does exist. So control multi-sourcing, all these kind of things. So if I click on one of these parts, here what you'll see on the right-hand side is a properties panel uh, pop-up. And what this properties panel is doing is effectively what we're doing here is we're, we're augmenting the bomb. And so as soon as I clicked on this part, what I'm doing is I'm going to Octopart. And I'm pulling all of the data that we know about this component. So things like symbols, footprints, images where we have them, properties of that part, technical parameters, so on and so forth. They're all being pulled in.